Okay, we're going to represent the uh, two-thirds times three-quarters, or three-fourths, uh, using an area representation, an area model. And so for that, we're going to start with something to represent our whole, this rectangle to represent our whole. And a reminder that when we're, we look at two-thirds times three-quarters, that is the same as two-thirds of three-quarters. Um, and so when we're doing our multiplication, our standard multiplication, you know, five groups of seven is the representation of five times seven. And so when multiplying fractions, we have two-thirds of three-quarters. And so now we have to represent these with this area model. So three-quarters is our first uh, thing that we're going to represent since we're doing two-thirds of that. And so we have to break our whole into quarters, into fourths, and so I'm going to break it into halves and then break it into halves again. So we've broken it into four equal vertical pieces. And to represent three quarters of, that, of the whole, we shade in three of those four pieces. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully, that's pretty straightforward. We've shaded in three fourths of the whole. And um, now, we want two thirds of that. And so we go in the opposite direction to make our third. So we break We've broken this up into fourths vertically with vertical lines. With horizontal lines, we'll break it up into thirds. So there's one, two thirds. So there's one third, another third, and three thirds. And so if you look in any direction, you see one of two fractions. Vertical pieces are in quarters. Horizontal pieces are in thirds. And so now we've got to represent two thirds. And so we'll do that. Uh, by shading in two of those thirds. So there's one third, there is two thirds shaded in. And so the question to be answered still is what is two thirds of three quarters? And that's where we look at the overlap of these two pieces, uh, these two fractions. So this section here is the overlap of the two and we can see now we have uh, a total of 12 equal sized pieces, so that 12 represents our denominator, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them that are shaded by both uh, shaded regions, and so our multiplication is six twelfths, or if you do some reduction there, you'll get one half. And you can actually see that, not in this orientation, but uh, when you do six orientated this way, you get one half of the whole. And so this is a good way to, to start that representation of uh, modeling multiplying fractions and hopefully move kids to understand why we do what we do when we don't have a model and we multiply fractions.